Uh, so today's Monday and I thought I'd vlog a week in my life as a student at Robert Gordon University in Aberdeen. So for anyone who doesn't know, I'm a fourth year student and I study international tourism management. So this is during lockdown, so it's a little different than usual. I usually spend most of my time at university every day with all my friends as well as the university library and I sometimes study at coffee shops too. And of course, we usually also go out to the pub and the club once a week. Just waiting for my course mates. We're having pre-drinks here and then we're going to the club. <laughs> so yeah, it's all different, but I'm just going to show you how I stay productive at home and how I study, but also still like do things in my free time. Um, I'm still going to be taking walks in Aberdeen, so I'll definitely show you around the city as well. And lastly, this is not the last week of my submissions as a fourth year student, and this is just a week in my life. Uh, I feel like if it was my last week, it would be a little different. Uh, I wouldn't be taking like as long walks or cook like these fancy meals, and I'd probably just be studying from like morning till night and doing all nighters. One of the most important things for me when it comes to studying at home is scheduling in my studying as if I'm going to class and in that time I just sit at my desk and then I take my lunch and dinner in my kitchen so I have that feeling of taking a break in a different place. Another thing is been setting my timer for 30 to 40 minutes and then take a 5 minute break and then repeat. So in the mornings I still have a routine, I don't go straight into studying, I still uh, work out, have my breakfast, relax, um, sometimes I meditate or I pole dance and yeah sometimes I just watch YouTube videos and then around 10am I start studying. It's around 2 p.m. and I just finished work about half an hour ago and yeah I'm just gonna have some lunch and then continue um, studying. I just want to talk a little bit about my dissertation. So I'm talking about solo tourism and how stepping outside someone's comfort zone by being a solo tourist can have um, possible impacts on their confidence and I'm doing the practical part so that means that I'm doing a documentary as well as a written part and uh, so yeah I've been filming the interviews the past few months and now I'm just basically editing. I need to film the intro but I need to change first um, and yeah I'm just excited. It's really difficult obviously but I'm also like enjoying it because I'm so passionate about what I study and what I'm writing about because I'm getting a lot of questions especially like on Instagram um, about if fourth year is hard and yes it is hard um, it does require a lot of hours of studying, but I think the dissertation part especially, obviously I chose this topic because I'm passionate about solo tourism, I have experience and so when I'm like researching all the academic journals and everything, um, it's not that boring because I'm interested in the subject, so it makes it a little easier.
Okay, so that's it for a week of my life as a student in Aberdeen during lockdown. I just wanted to talk a little more about like life as a student in Aberdeen in other circumstances, like generally, and uh, not during lockdown. Because uh, Aberdeen is such a great place for students. There's so much to do and the nightlife is great. There's so many different bars and clubs for everyone. Amazing restaurants and cafes, loads of local independent businesses, plenty of coffee shops to study in, and the beach of course, uh, shopping centres, museums, art gallery, bowling alleys, farmers markets, and so many walking trails and parks. And there's also events and festivals on every week. Also, the public transport from Aberdeen is great for exploring the rest of Scotland as well. And the universities have different societies and clubs from a huge variety of sports to a Harry Potter society, wine tasting, fashion, photography, languages, business. Um, there's so many different ones and there's so much more than what I just said. You definitely won't be bored in this city and there's something here for everyone. As you can tell, I'm super passionate about the city and my university. Obviously the college and University of Aberdeen also have a very good reputation. I just don't have personal experiences there. That's why I mainly talk about RGU. Um, but yeah, I just want to talk about Aberdeen in general as a place to live and study in and work in. Because yes, yeah, there's so much to do. Um, obviously I didn't actually stay here for the full four years because I had the chance to study abroad in Finland for four months and then in my third year I did a year abroad in California for my internship. And these are also some great examples of some of the opportunities that RGU has given me during my time here. So I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.